Oh, look, you're back. I knew that you were going to come back. You can't resist it. So I am Mickey. I am not your mama's minister. And today we are going to address gambling. Mm. In just a second. So let me tell you a story. I am not a gambler. Um, uh, I buy a lottery ticket every once in a while when I have a little bit of extra money. And other than that, I kind of stick stay away from it. Don't get me wrong, the casinos usually have fucking awesome buffets, but other than that, the whole the whole gambling thing, I sit there and I watch the money go into the machines, and I think I could buy like three lipsticks with that. So, I just kind of leave that to you folks. So, my sister, one of my sisters, um, it loves to gamble. I don't know if she still does, but I know that she used to. So, one day, she says... Oh, come on, Mickey, and let's go to the casino. And I'm like, oh. She's like, come on. So we go to the casino, and we sit there at the slot machines. And she wanders off and leaves me at this slot machine. And I'm putting the, the money in and hitting the button, and I won. It wasn't that much. It was like $150, maybe $200 on a, a 10 or a 20. But I walked back to her with the ticket in my hand and I am ready to cry and I walk up to her and she turns around she looks at me and she smiles and she's like what and I handed her the ticket and I'm like I won and I start sobbing so gambling is not for me <laughs> apparently I just can't take the stress of it so but people like to gamble and there you have to admit there is a certain appeal I mean Paul Newman and uh, what the hell's his name? I can't remember his name, but we love watching people gamble. One of my favorite actresses, Jennifer Tilly, I love watching her gamble. I think that her partner is also a famous gambler. So there's something very exciting about dropping that coin into that slot machine and watching it go. And there's something very exciting about, um, playing cards because with the cards and that type of stuff, definitely makes you think you know and then with the slot machines it's just kind of a very routine thing and exciting when the lights shine you know bright light up and stuff like that and so I totally get it now there are some of you out there who have an addiction to gambling and so I mean there are support groups there are uh, helplines and hotlines for you and I will uh put those I will try to remember to put those in uh, the down below the the video you know you know what I'm talking about I'm that looked so dirty didn't it but I didn't you know what I meant um, but uh, it but if I don't if I forget to put any numbers up, up there that are for gambling addiction or help with gambling addiction um, then just google it I mean, it's all over the place. There's, I'm sure that there's some place close to you that offers help for people who have an addiction to gambling. And honestly, you can have an addiction to anything. So, <clears throat> so don't be making fun and saying that's not an addiction. Anything can be an addiction. So, uh, you know, there are a lot of mystical things, a lot of sympathetic magic, a lot of um, old school mojos, a lot of old school uh workings with for for gambling success whether you're wanting to win the lottery whether you're wanting to win at bingo whether you're wanting to win um with the scratchets the cards there are all sorts of different things out there and so whether it's from the herbs like angelica root or devil's shoestring whether it's the saints like uh san martin caballero and i can't remember what his english name was but and then saint simon um from what i understand saint simon is a little bit more aggressive when being petitioned but you know you do you uh then if we look at some of the deities we've got the uh italian lassi um which are like household spirits we've got uh fortuna or lady luck um we have symbols of it the wheel of fortune horseshoes um the you know there are all sorts of candles and other tools that you can get out there having to do with uh luck for gambling 
um, specifically. There's luck for other things as well, but luck for gambling. And then the whether you want to go with something as simple as um, taking an onion and chopping it up into little pieces and then taking those pieces, throwing them into a red bag. I always recommend the red flannel bag, um, but I know that I've also used, uh, oh, what is it called? The chamois claws. Uh, I've used those as well. So, but uh, you want to throw it into a red bag. You throw some alder root in there. And uh, the largest red alder tree is surprising me here in Oregon. And But don't go and pick on public property or uh, private property or anything like that or, or take down any trees just because you want some gambling mojo. So find something else if you can't get your hands on alder root. Um, look it up online to see where you can find it. Don't be a fucking douchebag, in other words. And so after you put the alder root and the onion in there, you're going to throw six juniper berries in there. Hello, gin drinkers. And then you're going to carry that with you when you go gambling or when you go to the casino, when you go to the bingo hall. And um, you're going to stink to high heaven with that onion in there. But it's uh, it's an old and very simple gambling, uh, uh, gambling good luck bag. And then you've got things like... Um, some of the older ones and here we have something that uh, not everybody is going to want to do it is so gamblers are known for having lucky hand washes and so those hand washes of course are not actually hand washes for example the um, from what I understand most tried and true uh, gamblers hand wash is the urine of somebody that now old school traditionally you're gonna go with your your significant other your partner um, however I have heard of gathering the urine from anybody that uh, that wants you to win as much as you do if not more so yes your lover would definitely want you to win more money you know take take them on a great vacation or something like that but there are also other ways friends or um, if you want to go with family, you know, I, I wouldn't go there, but it's somebody that um, old school and, and traditionally it is usually your lover that would pee on your, your hands. Sorry, but that's the truth. Pee on your hands before you go gambling. Now, you are not supposed to wash it off. However, that is that is what old school kind of says and traditions kind of says as you know i am not fond of living within the box and coloring within the lines and so i say that the magic is still there whether you wash your hands or not so after you pour the urine or after somebody pees on your hand hands then there is nothing wrong with you washing those hands and i have found in my experience with clients who do actually tr attempt that, that they do have more success when gambling. So, um, so that, that can be an option for you. And it doesn't have to be something where you're going into the bathroom with somebody and they're pissing all over your hands. Um, it can be something that you can collect the urine in a jar and take a dropper, uh, one of those dropper bottles with you f filled with it and just put it on your hands. If you would like to go that way, a more discreet way, less I guess sexual kinky way um, and if you just cannot find anybody to give you their urine that wants anybody that wants you to win the lottery um, as bad as you do then if you can't find anybody to give you the urine or pee on your hands then you can always go with chamomile so just go ahead and boil some chamomile flowers and get somebody who wants you to win the lottery to stir the uh, pot with their little finger so it's actually their little finger finger rather than their pointer finger I was just doing that because you know why not um, but so with their pinky finger after it cools down please don't burn off anybody's pinky finger skin ouch so um, just boil some chamomile flowers let that cool down have your loved one stir it with with of course focusing on you are gonna be a winner and um, I know that I have been asked in the past, well, what does urine have to do with the gambler's hand wash? 
urine is known for being a very strong controlling um bodily fluid so it's one of the one of the things that you're going to use to control so, somebody so if you think about it then what you're doing is you are saying i demand you know that person who pees on your hands or pisses into a cup for you is saying i demand that you go and win it's kind of that that um controlling the situation it's saying you don't have a chance to lose because i have pissed on your hands and god damn it you will go and win so and you will win big Psh, come home with some piddly little amount anyway um so those are the the different gambling mojos those are the different di some of the different gambling um symbolism and that's my roommate's dog sorry about the sound um there are kids playing outside and he thinks that he wants to go eat them or play with them or something so anyway having to do with all of that um you know you can can find a lot of other different options different other options i know that there's been a lot more options that i've used for clients those are just more of the simple um quick ones and so go for it go have fun you know like with everything else do it in moderation don't blow your kids college funds don't be a douchebag don't be a fucking douchebag i will say it all the time anyway i think that's it about gambling um like i said if you have a gambling problem um definitely get some help it's loads of fun it's you know, they, there's been gambling since psh, who knows when. I don't even know. I guess you could research that or a gambling expert could tell you. But there's been gambling for ages and ages and ages. And you just need to make sure that you use a little bit, bit of discipline and a little bit of willpower. And I know that sometimes it's really hard for us to get past those addictions to the point that we can just have fun every once in a while with that thing. So whatever you whatever works for you um make sure that you stick with that and don't let anybody tell you otherwise and i think that might be it yes as always i love you and many many blessings i hope you win um and please like share subscribe and uh comment and i will talk to you very soon good night